you just said moments ago um, how you were attuned to what the uh, you made it uh, uh, an aside about what you you told David Chase previously on an idea that you had, and he's like, you know, you said that it, it would be great for the audience; the audience would love it. So clearly, you were attuned to what the audience of The Sopranos is all about, knowing how it was going to end before. We mm-hmm. all saw it as an audience. Right. How did you feel the audience was like when you found out how it was going to end in the writers' room or however you yeah, did yeah, find yeah. out? How did you think the audience would take it? I thought they would take it a lot better than they did. Honestly, <laughs> I thought it was really cool. I thought it was really interesting. But by that point, I guess I was I was programmed to try to look at storytelling the way David did, uh-huh. and I still do. Like, let's do something unexpected. Let's go the opposite way of what you think is going to happen. It's so hard to be ahead of the audience. It's so difficult. You know, again, all, most of us have been watching TV for decades. Cinema has been around for over 100 years. We, we know all the tricks. You, you know instinctively, you know the language of film. And you know if there's a, a shot of the coffee cup, the coffee cup's probably going to come back and mean something later. And so it's, it, as a writer and a storyteller, you're always trying to find the different way in. So I think it was about a year before the finale ended. I think Matt Weiner and I were in the room and David came in. And he said, I, I, I think I know how the series ends. And he says, I think I'm just going to cut to black. I went, wow. He goes, yeah, I think I just, I'm just going to stop it mid-sentence. And then a month later he came in. He said, I, I just heard the song on the radio that's going to be the it's Don't Stop Believing. He just heard it on the radio yep. and said, that's the one. He said, that's it. He said, something about that song. And I said, wow, interesting. And he had it in his head. And then we, we watched it. And I, I watched, he, I sat in an editing room with him and watch the ending of that show 50 times. Uh-huh. And he would change like one frame and go, what do you think, this one or that one? I go, fine. He's like, I honestly can't tell anymore. I don't know. They're all great. They all are. So I really was on board. And I, uh, I flew back. My son was just born. My wife and I flew back to New York uh, at the, at the, to, to introduce the baby to my family, my siblings, and uh, aunts and uncles and everybody, and it happened to be the airing of the finale and of Sopranos that night. We were all going to watch it together, and I said, "You guys, you re- this is really cool." And it ended, and they turned on me like a pack of wolves. What the hell was that? And I was like, "Oh, we got to go. The baby's got to go." And I just left. I was like, "Wow, I did not expect that." I, and then this uproar, yeah. of, you know, what the hell? And and then you know, I've asked people, I go, "Well, what did you want? Did you want to see Tony get killed in front of his family?" But, no, of course not. Did you want to see the, the whole family get slaughtered? No, no. I said, "Well, what did you want?" I don't know. And I go, all right, well, this was different, right? Maybe he died. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. Nobody knows. I, what I will say, and I have said a million times, is if he didn't die that night, one day somebody in a members only jacket or something is going to come out of a bathroom somewhere. And maybe it was that night. And I said, what I always took from that is when you're Tony Soprano, even going out to ice cream with your, with your family is fraught with looking over your shoulder. Yeah. Who's that guy? Why is that guy looking at me? That's the, that's what you've created for yourself. And that's, sort of the point and whether it was that night or whether it never happened i don't know and i'm glad we don't know my wife and i had a whole bunch of people over we got uh <laughs> we got uh you know chicken parm we had the whole thing we had uh you know uh 12 15 people in the house show ends and everybody looks at me yeah yeah, yeah. thinking i forgot to pay the direct tv Absolute bill course. like I, they're like yeah. what did you know like it, and it just happened <laughs> to go off right at this moment Absolutely. and then five uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, by the way as you know it was the, the 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 dip to black was long enough for me to basically tell everybody yeah, like yeah. what are you looking at yeah, me for like yeah, yeah. there was an exchange going on, and yeah. then the credits yeah. rolled yeah, and then i was off the ground time. yeah yeah like, somebody told me they they were with the, it, watching with their grandmother and as soon as it went to black the grandmother went i didn't touch the remote <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, but it was supposed to be longer, right, Terrence? Didn't David Chase want like thirty seconds? He didn't of want credits at all. And the DGA, I think, or the DGA or the Writers Guild, or say whoever it was, the the, the 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 guilds would not allow it. They said, no, you have to have credits because he just wanted to go black, and that was it. That's it. And yeah, and nothing. Coming up next, Sex in the City. I yeah, mean, like, what, and that was it. The and they, yeah, well, so they that was the was. only thing that at least let people know. Oh yeah, it actually is. Wow. You know, so he held it as long as he could. Last one. Uh, yeah. Sure. Nobody, nobody said to David ever. Maybe we should not end it this way. Nobody. That offered not to my back knowledge. To I mean, you know, we by that point in the series, uh, you know, David wasn't getting notes from HBO or anybody. I know. And you know, in terms of the inner circle, you know, at that point it was me, Matt Weiner, Tim Van Patten, yeah. and Alan Calder, and we all actually really liked it. So when we weren't blowing smoke, we really thought it was yeah. great. And 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 again, I thought the audience was going to think it was cool too. And uh, 
They didn't. <laughs> I don't know. I thought maybe everybody thought like that they, there would be like a taxi driver like finish. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Like somebody's going right. to come in, right? And be some you know, big shootout. And it's right. Yeah. Some day rain's going to come and wash it all off the street. Yeah. And, and that that's right there in the diner. Right. But again, that's you know that's the the element of surprise. That's what you probably think right. is going to happen. Chances are, then yeah. that's not what's the Russians happen. not showing up. Nope, not coming. You know, David used to say, and I don't know who, who to attribute this to, but he said, art asks questions, it doesn't give answers. And I, I don't know who originally said that, but I love that. Art you know? asks questions. It doesn't give answers. Doesn't give answers. Yeah. I mean, you know, think about it. When, you know, walking out of a movie, when you used to go, God, what, what do you think that meant? Or what do you think happened to them afterwards? As opposed to, here is the spoon-fed version of stuff. I remember I was watching um, Out of the Past, this old film noir. Oh, sure. Um, great movie. Oh, yeah. I think at the end of the movie... Um, I think Robert Mitchum dies. And I remember thinking, oh, no, he, he can't he can't really be dead. And then I was thinking, oh, yeah, no, back in the day, they used to kill people. Yeah. <laughs> they used it because they, they, there's not going to be out of the past too, further out of the past. Sure. This is it. This is the movie. He dies and you move on. And it's like, yeah. oh, yeah, they used to, that's how it used to be. Hey. And you killed the hero or things like that. The star and, you know, of your current show, Rocky Lost. Yeah, absolutely, you know, I mean, which is happen. so great. Yeah, I, know, I mean, right? that was so much better than if you won. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.